Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we have Christmas spirit messages for you. This is a timeless reading whenever you find or whenever actually this reading finds you uh, is exactly when you're meant to see these messages. Just because it is messages from Christmas spirit does not mean that you have to celebrate Christmas or believe in Christmas to uh, appreciate or to um, have these messages resonate with you. There's a lot of uh, celebration. There's a lot of um, uh, different traditions and beliefs that are around the world, especially at this time of year. A lot of people are looking back on the year past, looking to the year, uh, the, the year that lays ahead. And whatever you happen to believe in, whatever you happen to celebrate, all right, this does not, this reading does not discriminate. We, um, we really do embrace everybody over here at the moon and it's just Christmas spirit infuses a lot of magic, a lot of um, angels, spirits, guides, and past loved ones that all get together and want to send some messages your way. So let's get right into your reading here, shall we? So just a reminder, these are general messages, so not everything will resonate. Take what does, leave what the rest behind. But if you do enjoy this reading, thank you. Please don't forget to hit that like button there and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do daily readings, weeklies, monthlies, love, singles, money, all of those things. I've got year ahead forecasts that are already posted there as well. But let's get right into it here. And what do we have here? We've got uh, Archangel Zafkiel coming out, bringing you some compassion. This is a wonderful energy when we have compassion. First of all, be kind to yourself, okay? Sometimes we are our own worst enemies. Sometimes we beat ourselves up for things that we have done or not done. We harbor guilt, we harbor, harbor anger, we harbor regret, all of those things. It's part of being human, but Zavkiel comes, is coming in here to bring you this element of compassion and kindness to yourself. All right. And, you know, a lot of people, they talk about forgiveness and things like that. But, you know, sometimes it all starts within you. And if you can't be kind and compassionate to yourself, then it makes it that much harder to, uh, you know, um, put that energy out there. Okay. Um, when we talk about things like forgiveness, okay, forgiveness to find our inner peace. But when is the last time that you forgave yourself for something? We quite often do harbor other people's guilt. Okay. Because we take on the, the energies and we blame ourselves for things. Okay. And so first and foremost, it all starts within you. It all starts inside of you. All right. In order to put you on the peace, uh, put you on the path, excuse me, to personal peace and happiness, inner peace, outer peace. Zavkil brings compassion in all forms. Maybe you're dealing with a situation uh, now in the past or maybe in the future, near future, where you do need to put your own opinions or beliefs or whatever aside and you need to take a little bit more of a kind, calm, compassionate approach to a situation in your life. Um, exude that energy, if you will, towards others. And what that actually does is it actually elevates you a little bit, your own energy by doing that, right? And, you know, sometimes we just need to take that high road. So it's a beautiful energy that is coming in here for you. And Leo, your your tarot card is the strength card anyway, all right? And the strength card does bring in kindness and compassion. So some of you are really experiencing a period in your life where you are very open, receptive. Your vibration is incredibly high. Um, Zavkiel brings in this wonderful, loving kind of energy. So, you know, you can exude love, kindness, and compassion, but it also flows back to you as well. And it really is quite beautiful and really is quite wonderful. And in order to get this card, in order to get this energy that is flowing in you, through you, and outwardsly out of you, that sounded weird, um, your elevation, your uh, consciousness, your vibration needs to be really high. So a lot of you are taking a step up, taking a level up um, in your spiritual self, your, your period of personal growth. And it is just a beautiful, wonderful, loving energy. 
um, coming in here. So for some of you, Spirit's really trying to get you prepared for something as well. So this is open and wonderful energy. So what do we have here? We've got first breath, beginner's mind, and we also have fortunes, wheel, luck, and right timing. Wow. All right, you guys, you've got some exciting new beginning. And what did we just say? Zavkil's trying to open some of you up to something, right? Your elevation is your vibration. Excuse me. Why do I keep saying elevation instead of someone in an elevator? Anyway, um, your vibration is really, really high. And when you're on this element of this kindness and compassion, you are open and receptive to all sorts of wonderful things that are excuse me, that are flowing within you and around you, okay? And it's just absolutely beautiful energy. The first breath, the beginner's mind. Some of you are looking to start something new. This could certainly be a new sense of self, a new sense of you, um, stepping up, leveling up in some way, okay? Finding your inner peace, your personal growth, your path towards enlightenment, and you are just about to step over into a new level, a new portal here. This is card 21. It relates back to the world card, right? So you've completed this one cycle, and you are um, in a really, really good place right now. You see all the planets of the universe right here. And this person is kind of like the magician card a little bit too. All right. It just shows that you are harnessing all of the elements of the universe, um, all of this wonderful, abundant energy. And you are in this period where you have wrapped up um, a whole pile of things. Okay. And you are ready to start something new. Okay. Your mindset is on the new, the fresh, the wonderful energy that is all around you. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean a new life. It doesn't necessarily mean letting anything go. All right. You're all at different stages, right? For some of you, you're just leveling up. Okay. And we're always in a constant period of, we're always constantly growing and evolving, um, in our lives, in our ways of thinking, in our belief systems. Okay. So think of this breath of fresh air. Think of, you know, letting things go and embracing this new energy. So for some of you, you've got some improvements that are on the horizon. You've got some blessings that are on your way and man, oh man, you certainly have a little bit of luck on your side. I absolutely love this card. For some of you, you've got something exciting coming right in here very imminently. All right. For others of you, this is just showing that this is the right time. You are on a cycle of improvement, a cycle of increase, of expansion, of good luck and good fortune. It's a very powerful faded energy coming in here. It's like luck is on your side. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. It's this universal green light showing you that your elevation, your, why am I keep saying elevation? That's the weirdest thing. Okay. Anyway, I don't know. Like it, someone's in an elevator. I'm telling you anyways, your vibration, good Lord is super, super high. And you've got this wheel of fortune turning in the right direction. Keep thinking positively, keep moving forward, keep staking, taking the steps that you're guided to take, be open and receptive. And the doors are open for you right now. This is absolutely wonderful, glorious energy. Expand your horizons. And some of you, again, with the with the fortunes wheel and the first breath, this kind of manifestation energy that we've got coming in, man, if you have not been on a manifestation journey yet, start now. Okay. Start now. Everything is all aligned for you. And this is absolutely brilliant energy here for you. Okay. So let's see what else we've got coming out for you. All right. Messages, please, for Leo. Oh, Leo, I'm so happy for you. This is just such beautiful energy. Just wonderful. So we've got here. So this is your tarot portion. The first card I pulled out up here, that is your North Star. And that is a reminder of where you're headed, where you're going, okay, um, what direction you're taking, what path you're taking, maybe even as well can represent goals. We've got three gifts, kind of like three wise men, uh, three gifts and blessings coming in, and then also a gift that you have to offer to the world, the gifts that you can present. Uh, and we've got the two of air, the two of air here. Some of you are a little bit of a crossroads, okay, and we do see this a little 
bit, you're about to leave one cycle and enter another. You're about to make a very, very, very important decision. The two of air shows that, you know, sometimes this is a two of swords energy, okay? So for some of you, you're trying to decide what to do. Maybe you already have a couple of different options that you're contemplating. Do I stay where I am? Do I make change? Do I take this opportunity or do I take this opportunity? Trust your intuition. The two of air is one that really, really, really does require you to trust your intuition, your gut instincts, and not to overthink, overanalyze something, okay? To let go of fear, of worries, of doubts, of anything that is holding you back, okay? And really trust and embrace your inner ability to make the right decision for you at the right time, okay? Sometimes we don't make a decision, the two of air. Sometimes we might be undecided about something a little bit confused. So if you've been feeling a little bit confused about something, right? Like we're all quite often, we all quite often do get in this element of being at a little bit of a crossroads, right? We get, you know, we're like, my life's not really that bad right now, but I don't know. There's something missing. There's something lacking, but maybe you can't put your finger on it. Or maybe you know that wherever you are right now is not where you want to be a couple of years down the road, it's like, no, I think this situation has run its course. And sometimes things do that. Sometimes uh, situations or even relationships and things like that do just run their natural course. Not everything is meant to be forever, um, happily ever after. Sometimes things are just meant to be for a certain period of time. So you could certainly be at that particular crossroads. It's like, do I stay? Do I go? Do I make change? I just don't know what that looks like right now. Okay, so it feels as though here with this two of air, okay, the, the main message there with that is trust your intuition, your inner compass, your inner guidance system, your gut instincts. Don't overthink, overanalyze something too, too much. If you need to get more information, just get more information. If you need to um, wait on something, if it doesn't feel quite right, then don't do anything. Okay, and you know, just trust that gut instinct of yours, right? But we also need to recognize the difference between feeling a little bit uncomfortable and getting out of our comfort zone, okay, over our brain going, whoa, no, don't do it, don't do danger, danger, okay, because sometimes our brain, when we start to feel a little bit uncomfortable, okay, or we start to feel, okay, you know what, I know this is the right path for me, I'm a little bit scared, okay, I, but I know that this is the right path, this feels right, but it's also a little bit scary, so you get those little nervous butterflies in your stomach and all those things but sometimes then your brain takes over and it's like no don't do it no no I've analyzed the situation and no 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 this is dangerous you don't know all the details you, do, you don't know this you don't and so sometimes our brain keeps us trapped in one's particular spot because our brain our human side does not like change okay doesn't like fear okay and as soon as we feel a little bit of fear our brain takes over sometimes and keeps us in one spot because it goes into protection mode sometimes okay so with that two of air trust your intuition trust your gut instincts there okay and try not to overanalyze something too too much or you may end up not making any kind of decision at all okay so trust yourself you don't necessarily have all of the answers right but again there's something magical and wonderful that's opening up for you here whether that's just something within you, your own sense of self being, finding that ability uh, or the guts to let something go, okay, maybe changing your direction, okay, uh, it could be a, a situation in your physical world as well, relationships, jobs, um, you know, where you live, all of those kind of things, some sort of important decision uh, is certainly either at your doorstep right now or on the horizon, so trust your instincts. Blessings headed your way, patience. This, this patience card, this temperance card here has actually been showing up a number of times in these readings. Spirit's really trying to give you the gift of patience, calm, kindness, compassion, healing, balance, all of this wonderful energy, um, bringing you some inner peace. Okay, and uh, this quite often does show up as a guardian angel card, a little bit of spiritual energy protecting you, guiding you, calming your mind, okay, calming your fears, alleviating your fears even, and helping guide you along your journey, helping you make those decisions. And this shows, uh, this card quite often does show up when past loved ones are nearby as well. 
Okay, so you got all of this wonderful spiritual calm guidance that is coming in here to help you on your journey. But again, this card is the temperance card, Sagittarian energy. Okay, but it does bring about some healing, some forgiveness, some inner peace. Okay, but also this balance in your life as well. Okay, but this shows that you don't always need to make snap judgments or snap decisions. And this shows that sometimes there is a need for calm energy. There is a need for patience. All right, and if some of you have some really important decisions to make, that two of air, we don't necessarily always need to make a rash decision, okay? Or if you know that there's something coming in, right? You've been doing some manifestation work because some of you have already started on a manifestation journey here, okay? Patience is coming in. Temperance card is coming in to say all in due course. We've got your back. The universe has a lot of wonderful things going on in the background for you. And it takes time sometimes to build per, uh, build something wonderful for you, okay? Or to manifest something into the physical realm. Some things, sometimes things happen all at once, but other things take that little bit of extra time. And it's a, there's a reason for it. It's to make sure that you're ready and make sure that you're in alignment. All right, so beautiful energy. You also have the gift of being patient with other people or kind and compassionate with other people as well. Beautiful. The four of air also comes in here to bring some calm to your situation. The four of air is the four of swords and this shows your ability to find your inner peace, um, find your forgiveness, to let things go, to embrace your higher self, to meet your higher self. The four of air is quite often an energy of meditation. All right, and also brings in a little bit of stability to your situation, even to your way of thinking. Sometimes we can calm our mind, calm our fears, and just do what feels right. It is one of trusting your intuition also, but the four of air, okay, is the gift of connection, the gift of spiritual connection, okay? Also the gift of, with both of these here especially, being able to find your inner peace, okay? But also you may have the gift to bring peace to others as well. We also have temptation coming in here as a gift. All right, and the temptation card is the devil card. And you might be thinking, well, how in the world can the devil card be a gift? Ah, because we take the more positive aspects of it, okay? And this is about resisting temptation or resisting overindulgences or being able to recognize that beneath the surface of something bright and shiny um, has the, something may have the ability to um, trap you in, okay? And the devil card here, the temptation card really does um, bring in the ability for you, the gift of detachment, the gift of being able to make better choices, of being able to put up personal boundaries, of being able to indulge and embrace the finer things in life and the things that bring you like a little bit of guilty pleasure maybe even as well, but also brings you the, that ability, that gift of not letting anything overtake you, okay? It gives you the gift of being able to release any karmic ties, karmic attachments there, okay? Any kind of toxic or negative energy and to embrace the light. The devil card is not necessarily a bad card, all right? And yes, I mean, it is the devil, okay? Um, you know, but it really does uh, represent our shadow side, right? It does represent those guilty pleasures of life, okay? And, you know, like, for example, if I was to pull, if I was to ask for, let's say, one card, how can I enjoy my Christmas day, for example, and the devil card came out, I might say, indulge in all the guilty pleasures that you want, but remember to make better choices tomorrow, okay? So have that wine, um, eat the cake, um, have two helpings of your turkey dinner, um, you know, whatever whatever all those little guilt is, like those things where you normally have to show a little bit of restraint, 
just go for it, right? So when we have this coming in as a gift, this is your ability to enjoy all of those little pleasures, those guilty pleasures of life, but also to be able to make better choices tomorrow, okay? Or to make better choices later, or to be able to have those boundaries that are in place, right? What is it, that 80-20 rule, right? It's 80% of the time, you're good. And then that 20% of the time, let's just have a little bit of fun, okay? But you can have those boundaries in place. So it's enjoying those pleasures of life, those making those better choices, the keeping up those healthy boundaries, um, releasing uh, any kind of negative or toxic patterns or behaviors, okay? And being able to indulge without going overboard, okay? So it is about doing a little bit of shadow work perhaps for some of you also. All right, and having a good look at you, yourself, your situation, letting go of any kind of like darker, obsessive kind of qualities or anything like that, and just, you know, trusting in yourself to make those good choices, okay? Maybe some of you are setting up some New Year's resolutions. That devil card sometimes does come out with setting up New Year's resolutions, right? Making better choices. Yes, I'm going to eat healthier. I'm going to... Um, not worry about things so much. I'm not going to obsess over things. I'm not going to try and control every aspect of my life. I'm going to try and go a little bit more with the flow. You know, those kind of things, right? So that certainly is a wonderful gift and a wonderful blessing that's coming in there. Capricorn energy, by the way. What do you have to offer? What gifts do you have to give right now? The Justice card beautiful energy. This is Libra energy, but this is the gift of being honest, being open, speaking your truth. You might have uh, a really natural ability to find solutions. Okay. Maybe you can help other people. All right. Maybe you can advocate for other people. The justice card quite often does bring in this ability to make balanced, fair decisions and to have a positive outcome that is beneficial for all. The Justice card brings in good karma as well. And look at this, all right? The Temptation card, right? We've got the ability to release any kind of uh, toxic patterns and behaviors or people or anything like that that um, are preventing us from go going forward or anything along those lines, all right? And then we've got Justice bringing in some good karma and there is that sword of Justice, okay? That can help release from the lower vibrational energies that come along with that devil card there, okay? So the Justice card is really wonderful. This shows your imbalance, your in alignment, and you may actually have that ability to show other people um, their way forward as well. But if you have been a love how this comes out by the way okay because remember you're where you're going you might have some important decisions to make or you may have to make some changes okay and the justice card shows you whatever decision you make will be just will it be right it will be true it will be fair it will be balanced it will be honest okay and it will be good for you you've got a lot of um, faded energy that's coming in here, some karmic justice, some karmic help. Good karma is very much on your side. Okay, new beginnings. The justice card is number 11. 11 does represent new beginnings and it's also a very high vibrational master number. Okay, showing that you've got a lot of uh, spiritual guidance and protection along the way. Okay, but you um, really do have some very, very, very positive energy that is flowing through you, within you, out of you, uh, towards you, you name it. Okay. So all the good that you've ever put out in the world, it's all flowing back to you now. All right. And you know, so this energy really shows that you are very much in alignment. And we said a little bit earlier that you're um, in this high vibe kind of energy and the justice card really does show that. Okay, so be honest, uh, get a sense of clarity, right? Make those decisions, okay? Don't overanalyze, overthink anything. Whatever decision you make is going to be right. But again, you might also be able to help other people. The justice card can sometimes be, um, you know, with, especially with the temperance card here also, uh, you might have an opportunity perhaps to pursue a career or, um, you know, maybe have the opportunity to advocate for other people. Okay, um, wield that sword of justice for others, perhaps. 
All right, so maybe you're opening up to some spiritual gifts, okay? And you know what that uh, temptation card, right, can sometimes represent addictions. Maybe you have, uh, maybe you have some calling, um, you know, to be like a counselor or a healer or something of some kind there as well. You could certainly have that going for you, but this is a wonderful energy and this is what is flowing out of you and what you can actually use. It's part of your gifts that you're embracing right now. Super positive. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for you. All right. But I'm going to close out your reading here with a postcard from Spirit last message please thank you and there is your postcard and this is from all of your spirits angels guides past loved ones you name it all getting together to write a postcard a message to you and it says you are love and the message is dearest you even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead, it's a time to rest. Allow ideas to flow through you and to take root in your heart before they reach your mind. Honor this process in your heart before, oh, sorry, honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming. You might feel lazy or unproductive, but we know better. Just as sleep is a way to recharge before renewal, so are you in a time of dreaming. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul emerges with spirit in a profound way, so you can receive your music directly from source and play your part in the symphony of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can't hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. Don't worry. We will wake you when it's time to return with a new dream. No need, no need to set an alarm clock. Loving you always. Beautiful energy. Beautiful message. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.